Morning everyone, beautiful sunny morning again today. I hope you had a fantastic bank holiday weekend. Tony and I managed to get out in the garden, which is our happy place, and do some gardening and planting and tidying and stuff. So we had a lovely relaxed weekend. So I hope you did too. I decided last week that we would have a look at a new series. I like doing series and keeping the topic similar for a period of time and giving you guys as much information as I can about the stuff that you need without having to go off paying expensive courses, even, even mine, which aren't expensive. But you know, if you wanna do stuff yourself, you don't have the cash to be able to do it, then I like to be able to give you all of the information that I can do to help you on that step forward. So this new series is about compliance documents. And instead of me just rhyming off what compliance documents you need, I thought we'd take one document for each compliance over coffee and I'd talk you through a little bit about what should be in it, the format, etc. Hoping that that will help you if you're having to write your own, if you can't afford to purchase. So the first one that I wanted to cover this morning is data privacy policy. And I've got a list open of the things that you should have in it and these expressions of should have have come from information commissioner's office it's not something that i've made up off the top of my head but just because i think i can this is actually taken from guidance from information commissioner's office so i'm going to tell you what the list is and if there's something that needs a bit of explanation i'm going to explain what that means for how you enter it into the policy so the type of information that you collect so you should have an explanation as to the type of information that you collect, which inherently means that you have to sit down and write down a list of the information that you believe you're going to have to collect, which conversely means you have to understand other legislation and regulation to know what that might be. So the type of information that you might collect, you know, confirmation of identity, bank statements for proof of funds, source of funds, audit trail, the documentation that you might have to collect for that, etc, etc. Who is collecting it? You, your company. How is it collected? How do you collect that data? How many different ways could you collect that data? How will you use that data? What lawful basis are you using for processing? So there are, I think it's five different lawful processes that you can use for gathering data. You have to look at that and decide which one you're going to be gathering data under. Do you share with a third party? Are you going to be sharing some of that data with another sourcer, with an estate agent, with solicitors? State who you're going to be sharing that data with. How can the person who is working with you, if something goes wrong, complain to the Information Commissioner's Office. That information should be in your policy as well. And the data that you gather, how long will you hold it? Now, these policies don't have to be page upon page upon page, if you don't want them to be. Our full, our full data um, privacy policy, which includes um, cookie and all sorts of different things for the website is about 17 pages but I go to the nth degree when I write my policies because that's just me you can keep it simpler if you want and I've said before if you go to simply hyphen docs there are incredibly basic um, data privacy policies there but for me they don't go into enough detail I add detail onto them so that is the data privacy policy. Legally, you have to have one in place. That's some of the information that you have in. If I were you, I would also put in what your policy is going to be or your procedure is going to be if you have a data breach. So it must cover what happens if you have a data breach, which of course legally now you must report to the Information Commissioner's Office within 72 hours of that breach. So that is the data privacy policy for this morning. Go off and research it for yourself. There's lots of guidance on Information Commissioner's Office. And chat to some of the guys or put a post up in our Facebook group if you like and ask for some feedback from the guys that have been on my data protection and anti money laundering one day workshop to ask them what they thought of the content on the workshop, if it was worth the cost. And of course, they get a certificate to prove that they've had the training as well. So that's the data privacy policy. 
on Thursday we'll be talking about the anti-money laundering policy. So that's it for today. I sincerely hope it's sunshining where you are. Have a great Tuesday and I'll be back with you on Thursday for more compliance over coffee. Bye for now.